Hey guys, welcome back to the Kool-Aid Podcast. Welcome back to another video. On today's video, we're going to be talking about Ferran Torres because Ferran Torres has given an interesting quote in regards to him his future and then as well we're continuing uh, to talk about Mikel Faye because negotiations are ongoing and um, you know his future is still up in the air and then towards the end of the video I want to talk briefly about Nico Williams as he has given a quote in regards to his future uh, but guys before I get started on the video make sure to follow me on all of my social media platforms down below everything's posted down below in the descriptions go over there and check me out that way you can stay up to date with everything that I do on the channel. Well, guys, let's get straight into it. Well, actually, we're, we're going to talk about Nico Williams after. Uh, but let's talk about Ferran Torres, guys, because Ferran Torres, he did give an interview out with Sport, uh, and he gave this specific quote that I want to talk about, and it's this. Uh, it's not whether I want to continue or not. It's that I'm going to continue at Barca. I am very calm. I will continue at Barca next year. They can save the ink and change my name for someone else. And so there we have it, boys. Uh, Ferran Torres, he's basically giving out a huge quote saying, hey, you know, no matter what offer I'm getting, I am staying at Barcelona for next year. And you know, that, th those are big words coming from Ferran. He did have a good start to the season last year, you know, scoring some very key goals, you know, in that goal against uh, Porto away in the Champions League. He got a clutch winner. Uh, and, you know, at the start of the season, we thought, hey, is Fernando is back. Uh, but then, you know, he did pick up an injury. Then you had the emergence of Rafinha on that left-hand side. Uh, you had Laminia Mal getting much more prominence. And so it made it very hard for Fernando Torres in the later half of the season. So I've just basically had his starting 11. And, uh, you know, Fernando Torres is one of those players that is being thrown around the media saying, hey, you know, he is one of the players who we can get some revenue for. We can generate some FFP. We can save some some some, um, some salary. And uh, we can get some considerable uh, money for him considering that we did pay $50 million for him back in 2022, uh, I believe. And so, you know, Fernando Torres, he's basically said, hey, I'm going to be staying at Barcelona. Um, he's basically put to bed any rumors of a potential exit and i want to know your guys thoughts in regards to Fernando Torres. Are, are you guys in agreement with that statement do you guys want to uh continue to see him at barcelona or are you in the camp that says hey you know Fernando Torres, he, he is one of those possible sales that barcelona they could make uh but now guys i'm gonna be talking about Mikel Faye as he is you know the main topic of the video um because negotiations they're still currently ongoing with porto uh deco he's currently negotiating with Porto in regards to the transfer of Mikel Fey. Uh, but apparently that 10 to 50 million euro fee that, you know, Porto, that we were talking about before, uh, Porto, they reduced it to five uh, with, you know, some additional variables. But the thing is, there is a buyback clause and it also a possible percentage of a future sale for Barcelona complete, uh, included in that deal if Barcelona they do manage to sell Mikel Fey for 5 million euros. The player, he's already agreed terms with Porto. Everything is still with that end. It's just, you know, now the negotiations have to be uh, within the club. Uh, Barcelona, they still want 15 to 16 million euros for Mikel Fe, including a buyback clause and a sell on clause as well. Just Porto saying, hey, you know, that's a little bit too much. Um, no, let, let me give you 5 million euros, then some add-ons, you know, some variables. And then, you know, I will inc I'll also include a buyback clause and the sell on clause as well. And if you're Barcelona, do you accept that uh, proposal from Porto? Because I, I believe in this deal, the two most important things is that buyback clause and that sell-on clause. You know, if Miguel Fe is able to have an amazing, you know, a, a breakout season at Porto, it's going to be key that we get, that we are able to bring him back and have him, you know, be a Barcelona player once again. And, you know, selling him for, for 5 million euros, it's not the end of the world. But at the same time, you know, a player such as Miguel Fe, who's very young, who's had some prominence uh, already in Barcelona flag and is attracting offers from many clubs around Europe, selling him only for, for 5 million euros is an absolute steal. And so, you know, a, a middleweight would be, hey, you know, maybe 10 million euros. Um, that would be a fair price, including the buyback clause and the selling clause, because, you know, Barcelona, they have all the power here. You know, Barcelona, they don't necessarily have to sell Miguel Fe, but then again, you don't want to end in bad terms with the player. Um, and now lastly, guys, I'm going to be talking about Nico Williams. As Nico Williams, he did talk about his future, and he said this in regards to that. 
Uh, constant rumors about my future. You feel praised because you're doing great things in football and that attracts the attention of great clubs. But it's also difficult because everyone is constantly asking what you're going to do with your future. And I'm a 21 year old boy who wants to play football. And so, you know, Nico Williams, he has, you know, he's vented his frustration there a little bit. He's saying, hey, you know, um, it, 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 it's very good that people are mentioning about me and talking about me in the media. But at the same time, it is getting a little bit annoying. I want to be focusing on football and other things. And, um, you know, as we talked about before on the channel, Nico Williams, we're going to store out his future, you know, after the Euros, Barcelona, they're making him the number one priority, as he should be. Barcelona should be going all out for him. You know, there should be no discussion on, on whether Barcelona should be going out for, for Danny Olmo or Luis Diaz. Simple. The first signing that Barcelona can make this summer after we get uh, that deal with Nike signed, um, the, the Barca vision, everything like that, it should be all in favor of Nico Williams. Uh, but guys, that was it for the Barcelona news of the day. There wasn't really much to discuss on today's video. Uh, later tonight, we are going to be making a reaction, talking about the Copa America and talking about the Euros. Currently, it's going to be Panama versus USA, and then I believe later tonight, it's going to be Bolivia versus Uruguay. And so, uh, we're going to be talking about that, and then as well as the Euros, because the group stage of the Euros has concluded. Uh, but guys, thank you guys all for watching. Thank you guys for tuning in, and uh, catch you guys all in the next video. Peace out.